Okay, in this tutorial, let's create the past history for a patient for the first time. This pop-up screen here is the past Rx program to enter in the data. You can start by entering in the patient's last name. We'll create a fictitious patient. We'll make this patient 45 years old, and you'll notice that his date of birth changes. You can also select the date of birth in a calendar format. We'll make him a male. Make him 64 inches tall. Muscle mass is normal. He's not a dialysis patient. Genetic group uh, is not required for this particular demonstration, but can be selected and the start of the next dose regimen. Well, let's say that we intend to give him the dose today, December 14th, 2012, and we wish to start it at 12 and hit the right arrow to the next field, noon. We need to select a drug. And we'll, we'll use vancomycin for this example. And now we need to enter in all the vancomycin doses that he's had. We double click it as instructed. To tab between fields, move between fields, use the tab key. To move within fields, use the arrow keys. So we're going to give it IV. We're going to give the first dose on the 12th at noon. We're going to give him 1,000 milligrams over one hour. The infusion rate is calculated for us. And if we want to give him two on the 12th at noon and midnight, two on the 13th at noon and midnight. That would be four doses every 12 hours. We're going to insert those. Now let's say that we got a serum vancomycin level after the third dose, which would have been at on um, December 13th at 12 but we'll give it then at 11.50, let's say. Let's say our trough concentration was 6. And you'll notice that that's almost 12 hours after a dose. And let's say that our peak concentration at 1 hour after the end of a 1 hour infusion that started at noon, so that's at 14.00. Let's say our peak was 30. OK. We'll enter in his weight. And this fictitious, it doesn't matter really when you enter in a weight, any value will be used. And let's say our fictitious patient here weighs 73 kilograms. And let's say he has a serum creatinine again. It doesn't matter what time. If you have the exact time in your data from your patient, you can certainly enter that. And we'll give him a serum creatinine of 1. OK. All of our data is entered in. I go back to the patient data. And we will save to file. We'll put him in a patient's folder here, and we'll put him in a Vanco, and we'll call him example 1, and it saves it in this format MB2. And it says that it's saved, and now we can exit. That You can ignore the error messages that PastorX gives you. So now you'll see that we have him entered into our patient data tab within the right dose program. His doses are here. His measured concentrations are here with the indicated time after the dose. And his creatinine is here. His height and weight are here. Well, this is how to enter in a patient's past medical history. If you want to edit a previous one, you can load patient from file. Here he is, an example. And we can load him. We can also edit him. 
If you want to load a previous patient, you can load patient from file. And we'll go back to where we saved him, pull him up, and there is he's loaded. You can also edit a previous patient by saying edit patient. You can ignore again these error messages from Pastor X. Ignore the template, and there he is there. Occasionally it will load up as a blank, in which case you can type hit cancel here and read from file and load it directly from Pastor X. There, ignore the template, and there he is. The other way to do it is to go to Patient, Launch Pastor X. Again, now we don't have anything here. We can cancel the initial screen, read from file, and select the patient whom we wish to edit. Ignore that template. And here he is. And we can edit anything here. For example, by double-clicking on it, you're free to edit and then replace. The same for the serum vancomycin weight creatinine. You can also insert new records. You can select a row by clicking on it and highlighting and hitting delete will remove that entry. You can also shift and hit select multiple rows and delete them as well. Now we're going to cancel and exit. Okay, that's the way to enter in patient information for right dose.